Welcome to the new Raleigh Court Library. Doesn't, doesn't it look great? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there they are. There <laughs> Good timing. Well, then, how many librarians will allow a drum line into the library? <laughs> Sheila Umberger will, that's for sure. And um, we'll have some remarks in a few minutes right after we cut the ribbon. These are young folks are from the Small Steps School nearby. And these folks are from Patrick Henry High School, right close by as well. How about a nice round of applause for these young people? So again, I'll make some introductions and we'll uh, have some remarks in just a moment, but we thought we would start by cutting the ribbon and we'll just say on the count of three, welcome to the new Raleigh Court Library. Can you say that? Welcome to the Raleigh Court Library. All right, one, two, three. Good morning, everyone. I'm not sure whether the Patrick the, the sirens just went by and the Patrick Henry drum line was just outside. Are they still there? Give them a nice round of applause for the Patrick Henry drum line and Uh, as I said, the only time that you'll hear the drum beat in a library anywhere in America, I guess. Um, we're delighted that you are here. We have students from the Small Step School. They're already over in the children's section. I guess, is that over that way, someone? Yes. Oh, way over that way? And uh, some students from nearby Patrick Henry High School, my alma mater. Where are those students? Raise your hand. Oh, they're great. Give them a nice round of applause. And They've got such great futures for themselves if they study hard and spend a lot of time working on your term paper here in the library, just like I did a few years, just a few years ago. Somebody said, ha, 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 on that one. Is that uh, I wanted to rec rec uh, recognize a few members of the city uh, council. Uh, Councilman uh, Vice Mayor Dave Trinkle is here. Uh-huh. Councilwoman uh, Anita Price is over here. Uh, Councilman Ray Ferris is here. Back in the... And any other members of the council that are present? Also, our city manager, Chris Morrow, is over here. We have several candidates uh, here. If you are a candidate for mayor or council, you raise your hand. They're popping up like spring flowers all over the place. Mark Lucas, I see Frida Cathcart. Yeah, so we welcome you. Um, we have members of the library board here, and Mike Ramsey, the, the uh, uh, chairman of the Library Foundation. Mike, Mike, right here. Mike's been involved with the libraries for since Benjamin Franklin opened the free library, I think. He, I think he's read every book in the library, so we just love Mike. And Don Bazak is the chairman of the library board. Where is... Behind Watch. So ben Bazak. Excuse me, Ben Bazak. I'm sorry, Ben. I, I did it. Ben Bazak. Pardon me. Yes. Uh, and I want to also recognize... Uh, uh, I don't know whether they have an award for the best librarian in America. But if they do, it should go to Sheila Umberger. We're very proud of you, Sheila. And Sheila's going to have a few remarks in just a few moments. Let me just uh, tell you just a few things about this new Raleigh Court Library. It's been expanded from 6,000 square feet to 11,000 square feet plus an inner courtyard. The cost has, is at $3.9 million, your taxpayers' money, spent to beautify this great uh, uh, facility. And that paid for everything, so it paid for all the new uh, bookshelves and other things as well. And uh, 100,000 new books and materials have been added, uh, and a collection, the collection has expanded to 30 thousand items. Am I telling that right as well? So a hundred thousand, I'm sorry, a hundred thousand, no, pardon me, I misread it, a hundred thousand dollars in new books and materials. And that's why the collection was expanded by 30,000 items. Mike, you've got a few more new items to read, I think. Um, I want to thank you all for being here, but I want you to know as I drive up by here, and by the way, I also want to recognize my mom, Mary Bowers. She's one of the, she loves this library right here. 
So as I drive up um, uh, Grandin Road to visit my mom, um, and I saw the big library sign put on the side of this building, I thought, you know, this really should be your library. Wouldn't that be a nice sign, your library? Because uh, you, the neighbors of Raleigh Court, Grandin Village, uh, and the other neighborhoods here in this part of Southwest City, uh, you were the ones that really got involved. You just took uh, ownership of this library over the last couple years as we were seeking to redevelop it and expand it and, and, um, and, and build this new facility. And uh, your comments, your suggestions, your input was all taken into consideration. Community members were asked and uh, we listened. Uh, we've completed everything that the community said they wanted in the design meetings. The new space features a big, bright children's area as well as a meeting room that can be used by the community outside of library hours and three study rooms. There's also a cafe vending space and a dedicated teen area. Parking has doubled and there is a convenient drive up drop off box. Uh, at community input, somebody like that. <laughs> at community input meetings, uh, uh, parking, um, at, at community input uh, meetings, teens were asked for a collaborative, flexible uh, maker space with cutting edge technology, and so it's now equipped with a 27 inch iMac. How many of you know what that is? Okay. I didn't, not all of you wrote, uh, raised your hands, I see digital keyboard controller and audio interface. The new maker space will allow students and patrons the chance to write, record, and play their own music. So Patrick Henry High School students uh, um, in the digital recording class can now work on their projects at the branch's brand new recording studio right in this facility. There are more computers in this facility. There's a quiet reading room. There's a cozy fireplace, which won't be, we won't be using until next winter, hopefully, uh, and an uh, extensive magazine collection. It is your library. You, the people, and the community of these great neighborhoods here in the Southwest City made the contribution. And we, your city government, and your library staff listen to you. A very special thanks to many who were brought us to this a very happy day on this beautiful spring day here in Roanoke. I uh, mentioned Sheila Umberger, the director of libraries. Uh, branch manager Diane McGuire. Where's Diane? <laughs> <laughs> Diane, if you don't know my mom, she's right there. She'll. Yeah. <laughs> you know her. She's. Okay. You. You. Okay. Um, a <laughs> So Amanda Brown is, is are, are these members of your staff? Uh huh. Amanda Brown, <laughs> Geraldine Jones, <laughs> Susan Hayes, <laughs> Amber Lowry. <laughs> Nathan Flincham. And Aaron King! <laughs> our thanks to the city manager, of course, and to our assistant city manager, uh, Brian Townsend. We also want to thank uh, Charles, Charlie Anderson and Eddie Persinger with our city engineering department, uh, Jamie Shook, HBM Architects, Roger Falls, and Stacy uh, Lucas uh, from Avis Construction, and all the subcontractors who made this beautiful facility a reality. We hope that you like your, do you like your new library? Doesn't it look great? So thank you for being here. We do hope that you love your library. And uh, please now uh, welcome to the uh, podium, Sheila Umberger, the best librarian <laughs> in the nation. We love you, Sheila. Thank you so very much. We love you. It's great. It's beautiful. Well, I will be brief because I know everyone's anxious to see all these hidden areas. Basically, what I would like to point out to reconfirm what the mayor just said is on the boards that you'll see storyboards around the library, those are actually exact quotes from our three community meetings that we did last year. And uh, 
the wonderful thing about this project and all our projects is it's shaped by the neighborhood. So you're not going to see a lot of cookie cutter branches. We want to respond to what the neighborhood needs and wants. Uh, so one of the things that came out in 2004, believe it that long ago, in our master plan study that started this whole process was um, that our community wanted more programs, we wanted more children's programs. So I would encourage you to pick up, we printed a spot, which is our newsletter uh, specifically for the next two months, for the, this month, uh, March and April, and it's all our programs, and we're going to have a, tr a lot of programs here at Raleigh Court, starting with uh, our author. Is our author here, Mary Kay? She is. Oh, she's. <laughs> we're going to have uh, Mary Kay Andrews is back there, and she's going to start a program. We also have preschool program over here for story time. But explore the different areas because there's a, a place for all of us here, and we just want you to enjoy the branch, and we're very excited to be able to open today. So thank you very much. Come on in, enjoy your library. <laughs>